Hi, I'm Rich Brimke. Welcome to 90 Second Love. Today we are talking about what it takes to be an artist. First article is called Los Angeles Creative Class. And this is a really interesting bit about how a lot of people are moving to Los Angeles and there's a burgeoning creative class and art scene there because it is affordable and people are actually leaving New York, this maybe supposed former center of all things culture, to go to this vapid wasteland that is Los Angeles. The vapid wasteland. <laughs> I think a lot of times we get trapped in this idea of if I want to make art, I have to be in this place. No, the only thing you need to make art is to make art. The second article is what it takes to be an artist. Teresita Fernandez is from a commencement address and she is a MacArthur winner. She is a whole bunch of wonderful things. But the advice in it is so wonderful and a lot of it has to do with just separating yourself from what people think and just creating and finding a space for yourself to create in and not critiquing yourself so hard. The last one is why no plan B is the only plan B. And it's a, an article about Anderson Cooper. And you're like, Rich, that's not an artist. You're right. But he immersed himself in becoming a journalist that that was the only thing he focused on. I think there is value in that and just completely immersing yourself in something because when you have only one foot in, you have one foot out. And I feel like that's a tough way to go through life. I'm not against having backup plans, but I am against focusing so much on the backup plan that your main plan becomes moot. Links are below, subscribe, and I will see you on Monday. Well, poof! There's one thing I hate, it's moot plans. <laughs> I also hate, what is the first article? Whole, holy, as in, a, as in a whole part, not like religiously. I don't know, actually, I don't know what he does in his free time. Some, from someone who has made much, many arts. And this is advice from famous artists, not, not just a guy who talks to himself in his apartment. Who's there?